These are the glitchiest routes to use in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! They get open instantly and can score against any defense in the game. You got most. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. If you guys watch my gameplays lately, you've noticed that I've been using the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook pretty heavily lately. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best glitch routes from this particular playbook because it's probably going to be the playbook that I use going forward into Madden 24. I've been making glitch route videos like this since the beginning of Madden 23. So if you guys want to see more from this series, I will have links in the description as well as pop-ups on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. And if you want me to continue this series, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it helps out the video and the channel. I haven't made an ebook for the Steelers yet as I'm planning to make one for Madden 24, but if you guys want to check out any of the ebooks that I made for more money plays and glitch routes right now in Madden 23, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent directly to the email of your choice for instant download. Now, the first couple of routes are all going to be found in the exact same offense out of the single back wing stack. I've already made a lot of gameplays using this offense. This is one of my favorites. So if you guys want to see live gameplay against opponents with these plays and these routes, I will once again have links in the description as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The first route that I'm going to show is out of the PA Steeler shot. This is a play that can work against a lot of different defenses, but we're going to go, we're going to select that, and we're going to start off with a defense that's very popular right now that a lot of people are running, which is the cover two man. The route that I'm going to be focusing on is the B route, which is a very unique style of corner route. I find it's best if you're going to be going against a cover two man to simply put the X route next to him on a streak, and you'll see how the B route here, number one, doesn't really get pressed, but number two gets right past the defense as you can see the streaking receiver pulls the safety back these stack formations can be very glitchy against man especially man press as you can see that cornerback misses by a mile and this receiver just gets outside over the top for a very easy play that could have easily been a touchdown like most routes if it's going to have success against cover two man it's going to have success against cover two zone as well as it goes right to the area where the safety and the cornerback split and you could get a very big play that way as well but this particular play and route can have success against a lot of different defenses pretty much everyone in the game so we're just going to go defense to defense here i'm going to go cover one hole next same setup applies and you're going to see we got a superstar receiver against a superstar cornerback but marlon humphrey really has no chance of keeping up with this guy he's constantly getting close to a 50 yard touchdown against defenses like cover three you just have to make sure that you're running from a hash mark to the short side of the field and it'll get open the exact same way as you can see the cornerback on the outside will follow the uh, streaking receiver back and let this receiver get wide open for another big play. In fact, if you run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field, this can get open against any defense in the game, man or zone, as long as you get a good pass lead outside. Now, just a couple plays down from this in the same offense is another really good play that's specifically good against man coverages, and that's the PA Power O. So the best defense this is going to work against is going to be things like Man Zero Blitz, which people don't use as much anymore, but you still get a lot of people that use it from time to time. So the Overstorm brave is going to be one of the best defenses to show this against this play doesn't actually need any adjustments but since it's a man zero blitz i'm going to put the running back on a check and release just in case a defender gets in too quickly to pick up the blocker and you're going to see how once this motion snap uh, adjustment works the b route's really just going to get open right inside for a very easy one play touchdown right over the middle of the defense as he gets open very quickly in this scenario and you can see it's a very quick route. He gets open within about 5 to 10 yards as he just slingshots around the coverage defender. This is another play they have success against man cover 1 as well. This can have success against man coverages as well. You're just going to want to put the RB route on a streak. I find it's best to motion him out against cover one man because he'll actually come into contact pretty quickly with the safety if you don't otherwise. And that also includes cover two man, so we'll go and pick that next. Against cover two man, you're going to have to put two different guys on streaks once again to pull those safeties back. But it'll have the exact same success as really no route can cover this. And this is a little bit easier because you don't have to motion this one out because there's no single high safety in the middle. Next up, we're going to stick in that exact same formation and go down a little bit further to find one more play, the fade out, which is something that you might have recognized from previous offensive videos that I put earlier in the year out of my Saints offense. But it works the exact 
exact same way here. So we'll go and pick that. On defense, this is specifically a cover three one play touchdown. So let's pick a cover three sky. This is something I use a lot in game plays. All you have to do is put the X route on a comeback route, which, but from this position, he doesn't really give you that option. So you have to motion him out first, put him on a comeback route, and then motion him back. I'll also block my running back, just give myself a little extra time, but that's not really necessary. It's the check and release. It usually does a pretty good job. And then you'll see how this B route here, if he throws the ball with good timing and get a better rack catch than I did, gets right outside of the cornerback for a very big play. You can see this is just how the game is programmed. For whatever reason, the game is programmed that this cornerback reacts to comeback routes, and that basically lets him get outside of the cornerback as long as you get, like I said, you can see I slowed down the pass lead, but if you get a good pass lead, a good catch and run, you could easily be going for a one-play touchdown. You can put the A route on a streak if you want to keep that cover three safety home a little bit more, but just as long as you get a good pass lead and a good catch and run, you could easily be going for a one-play touchdown from anyone on the field with this play. Next up, we got two plays out of the same formation once again out of the pistol double stack this is a very glitchy formation i actually had somebody running against me uh, but they weren't necessarily running the plays i'm going to show you the first play i'm going to show you is the stack out and this is a very glitchy play once again against the overstorm brave and cover zero defenses like this these stack formations are always glitchy when it comes to man coverages you can put the b route on a streak or a fade if i find they work pretty similar both times but i prefer the fade i think the fade is a better way to go what you're trying to do here is watch for the cornerbacks to run into one another and pretty much just get the receiver off over the top which i'll have to go to the replay i mean i don't typically watch for it because it typically happens every single time whenever you have stack wide receiver sets like this a lot of times these tight coverage corners can basically just run into one another forcing them to lose acceleration that's exactly what happens here it happens a lot where basically the two cornerbacks run each other and 44 now lost all of his acceleration so at this point all i have to do is lob the pass and you can see there's nothing stopping me since i didn't lose my acceleration from catching an easy one play touchdown the last play i'm going to show you guys is another play out of the gun type doubles that i've shown in a lot of gameplays recently so once again if you want to see a breakdown for this link in the description but the play that i'm going to show is actually a play that was run against me online and that is the shot fade cross this route and this concept here works against just about any defense of the game so let's go let's pick that i'll start off once again against cover two man the setup here is simple you just put the y route on a streak and the x route here is going to be just about every single defense in the game especially if you're running from a hash mark to the short side of the field as you can see right there he just gets right over the top streak is really just meant to pull back whatever coverage is in the area in this area it's a safety but once he gets turned inside you can see nothing really stops this receiver from getting an easy he won't play touchdown it probably works the easiest against regular cover two zone this probably works best against cover two zone because the cornerback covering outside will eventually stop at that point you just basically bullet and pass lead outside once again and there's nothing out here stopping you from an easy touchdown but it also works against coverages that really shouldn't like cover three sky and this is really based off of where you are on the field once again if you run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field you get very glitchy results as doing the exact same setup will pull the coverage cornerback outside away, making it a very easy pass, which won't necessarily be a one-play touchdown, but it'd be a very big play if you need it. Now, this play can also have success against coverages you wouldn't expect, like cover one hole. Once again, just running it from a hash mark to the short side of the field and putting the Y route on the streak, you'll see how the X route just runs right around his defensive player and it's a very easy touchdown as long as you get a good pass, which that was actually a little bit short because Kenny Pickett doesn't really have the biggest arm. But this is true to life in the real NFLs. Fade routes are often used against man coverages like this, but what really works is when he runs into the DB once again. Anytime you do that, it's almost like he gets a speed boost and just runs right past him where the cornerback loses his acceleration. Also works against cover zero, and you'll see you get that exact same speed boost bump as he runs into the DB one more time and essentially just runs right around him for another easy one play touchdown so i'm gonna end the video there if you want to see some of these plays in gameplay i will have them popping up on screen right now as well as another glitch routes video that i put out earlier in the year that still works the exact same way so if you guys want to check them out i'm sure it'll help with your game just click the link and that's it thanks for watching need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below